Hello everybody, my name is Snake DST, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick rundown breakdown on how to find this armor. The Brotherhood's Ultra Sight Secret Awesome Powerful Power Armor that still, in my opinion, isn't better than the X-01 armor, but still, it's a good armor. It's a quest armor, and I think this is the only way you can actually obtain it, other than other people. So, yeah. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, real quick, a little disclaimer. It's not going to be a step-by-step, -step, I'm showing you where it is type of deal. Because I don't have enough caps to do that. Because, you know, this game just loves me. And my, you know, my storage space doesn't allow me. But I'm definitely going to show you um, certain areas that you definitely uh, will help you. But the majority is just going to be kind of like on the map and me talking you through it. So hopefully you guys understand. And I'll do my best to explain. So very firstly, uh, the mission is going to start on Epi's Bunker. All the way up here in the north right side of the map as you can see from this um from the map there's fallout 76 over there there's morgantown train yard uh, if you keep going all the way right you'll see it. it's right above these little towers it's that little airplane thing on the map i think it's an airplane it's a bunker you go to abby's bunker talks about fort defiance on her computer on that computer you, go to, uh, you talk about the brotherhood and you got to go find the fort defiance going straight down straight down You'll run into uh, Camp Venture. That's where you want to go next. So I will see you guys there. Alrighty, now here at uh, but here at Camp Venture, as you can see, where I finally made it, definitely south of Abby's bunker, which is quite a long trek. But once you get there to Camp Venture, okay, listen, dude. How about that? Hello. Thank. All right. But here at Camp Venture, you want to come over here. Um, you'll eventually be going into that building, but you need a code to get in the building. So what you do is you walk over here, you unlock this. Oh, I guess I'll unlock it just to show you guys, because why not? Just make fun of my unlocking skills. You unlock this, and this is a secure storage key. You would grab that key. Excuse me. You would grab that key, and you would walk. Well, you would, you would run, but I, I can't run because, um... I'm over encumbered 24/7 because you know hashtag heads. stash base. Um, so you would uh, you would come down here and into this middle building right here. And this hey, middle building, you would walk over. Thanks. It's not like I bought it for you know me. Also, my we all my weapons are broken, so I have to resort to using this hunting rifle. It's pretty dope. Um, you come over here, you unlock this door. There's probably gonna be rad roaches in here, which it does sound like there is. Yes. Should be like a few. Or just, or just one. Alright, anyway. See, so with that key, you would unlock this storage key, and here would be a whole bunch of ammo. Uh, there's a missile launcher there. There's some other random stuff. There's grenades that I always like picking up because I am the grenade master. And then right here on the corner is a command center password. You want to pick that up, and you would walk back over here. And grab, sorry, I, I, like, I like grabbing the ammo because you know it's very uh, nice. So you would grab that. You would walk yourself all the way back up the hill to the command center. So right over here, the command center. You would go up to the command access terminal. You would unlock the door with the password you just got. The door will obviously be open then for you. And here we got random, just random ammo, fatigue stuff you can pick up. You can look in that terminal, if, terminal if you want to. There's a chest here with usually stuff inside of it. Uh, overseer's cache as well, right over here. More ammo and other goodies, but right here, and like hollow tapes and stuff and a Bowie knife. But what you want is this right here, the letter to Tommy. This letter to Tommy then will lead you down straight north, well kind of north, uh, to Fort Defiance, and that's where our next destination is. From Camp Venture, you'll come down to this building area. Uh, it is called the uh, Fort Defiance. Straight down from Camp Venture, you can see it. Well, not really straight down, but it's right there from where you were. Camp Venture, straight down to here. You want to come inside the front door. I walked in the front door outside. There's going to be like an event going on with like scorch beasts and scorches. It's not fun. It's, so I tried to avoid that. Uh, this door will be shut. It will look not like that because it won't shut. So what you'll have to do is go this way, and your path will eventually take you up to where the wire is 
to unlock this door. Once this door is unlocked, you can press the button, open the door, walk over here, and grab this note. And also that as well. And you can see over here, this laser grid will actually be red, not allowing you to go through. You'll want to take yourself all the way upstairs. You know, that guy's over there doing it. You want to go all the way upstairs, and eventually you'll get over here to a terminal. Now, I can actually probably just show you where the terminal is. Now, once you get to the third floor, you will come over across this way, and this is where it looks from when you get to the elevator, but you come over here, and there'll be a whole area over here where you have the Tinker's Workshop, you got a Weapons Workshop, you got a room with the uh, notes inside and some other stuff. Such like, I don't know what that just was, but okay. Um, over here, you got a quartermaster room where you can go in and, you know, if you want some ammo, there's ammo in there if you want to unlock it, whatever, whatnot. But this is right here what you need. You need to come to this terminal, get on the terminal, and from here you need to register new personnel. It's going to tell you that you don't have an ID. So what you need to do is go get an ID. And your way you get the ID is all the way over here at the Charleston Capitol building. Which is our next destination. Yeah, sorry. So after the next part, you get down to the Charleston Capitol building, which is directly west of where you were prior, so Camp Venture. And you went down to uh, here, to Fort Defiance, where you told you needed ID. So from the ID, correct, you go this way. I, I only said it was west of Fort Defiance because that's like a better, you know. Yeah, this is where you guys were. So you want to go left all the way to here. There should be a wave mark, and, and the the, uh, the mission structure really isn't that bad to figure this out. But there's going to be a few things in here that I'm going to show you that might help you out. Um, go over to the Charleston Capitol building. Uh, I had to walk here because, you know, I've been over encumbered since uh, day one and can never get out of it because, you know, stash space is such a necessity. And I have max strength stats and still can't carry anything. So it's a great way to stay in shape. Um, so once this loads, we'll be inside here. Now, once inside here, it's going to give you a prompt where I think you have to go over here first. Pretty sure. And then what I did was I, I clicked on government ID. Ah. Is it not going to? All right. Well, you would click on that. And you would pick a name. I went with George Washington and an actual, like, area. Don't say Vault 76 and all that other random stuff. Pick, like, George Washington, and I think there's, like, a second option for another place. Anyway, you talk to one of these guys, or eventually you, you start this up, the DMV number terminal. And eventually, I think you talk to him. You grab something, which I'll show you where that is. There's two, thing, two things in this quest that you're going to need to go out there and grab to talk to both these robots. One of them is inside this building, which we'll grab in a second. But the first one that everyone seems to be doing, and I had to do, is uh, over here. Alright, so from, from the bell, that's where you go into the uh, Charleston building. From this bell, you just walk straight over here. Shot it. Also, all my weapons broke on the way here, and, you know, it's just a great way to stay in shape. So, you would walk over this mound. It's going to say you need to look for, like, a postal address, something like that. Anyway, a lot of people can't seem to find it for some reason, but it's right here. Mailbox. It'll say junk mail inside of there. You just grab the junk mail, and you go back right inside, and you talk to the robots. Now, at the one part, it's going to say you need an application. I'm going to show you exactly where to go to get that application. It's very, very simple. Nothing about it at all. You would come out right over here into this little hole thing, whatever the frick this is, a little debris. You go into this this part right here of the courthouse. All right, and once it loads up, there's gonna be goals here, whatever. You just wanna take a left, go around. This door will be not open. Obviously, just easily open it. Walk right over here, and right here you would wanna pick up uh, your blank forms or whatever simple as that and instead of going back out and going back around you just walk through the building because they all connect anyway so i think you'll be talking to this guy or what 
it, it'll show you what bot you need to talk to. It's, it's, I'm sorry I didn't record this while doing it. I just wanted to get it done and realized that I should be recording it. Again, apologies. But everything is in the top right. It's going to tell you exactly who you need to talk to, what's going on. Those are the two spots you're going to have to go to, uh, to do it. Now, this next part, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you because, again, I'm over encumbered and I can't move. But you've already seen at the very beginning of the video what, the, uh, what it looks like. So what you'll do after that is you'll take the ID right back to here, back to that terminal. Exactly right back to the terminal that it said you need to go get the ID. You'll go in there. You'll be put in uh, for the Brotherhood of Steel. And then what you'll need to do is go up to the top fourth floor of this building of Fort Defiance. And it's, there's going to be a wave point for it. You just go to the wave point. You can explore. There's probably going to be power armor. There's a lot of other stuff up there. A lot of cool little goodies. Stuff you can pick up. After that, the quest is going to tell you. It's going to give you the quest called Belly of the Beast. And now after that, you'll see there's a giant circle around here. You're going to follow the circles all the way from, I think, like right here down up until this glass cavern. And you're gonna looking, you're looking for like little tiny satellite dishes, and you just find, and it gives you like that little, um, like signal strength until you hit 100%. You're literally just looking for little tiny satellite dishes. It's really simple. One's gonna be like out here, like on the road somewhere, and then the next one's gonna be at the camp, and the next one's gonna be on top of the bunker. There's gonna be one over here. You go inside the glass cavern. You go through all the way to the glass cavern. At the very end is gonna be. By the way, this this pathway. Another reason why I didn't want to walk through this again. It's surrounded by just nothing but scorched beasts and death and destruction and depression. So then after that, you get to here, go to the very end of the cave. You might see a dead end. You just go through. There's a hole somewhere. I think I found it to the left. You follow the cave all the way to the end. At the very end, a scorched beast will spawn, a scorched beast boss. You don't have to fight him. All you have to do is go to the right. On top of this little mound, there's a dead body, a whole bunch of other like dead things. You just grab the, the hollow dish. You grab the suit, or you don't grab the suit. You grab the hollow dish, you uh, grab what you need to do, get out. You come back all the way to Fort, Fort um, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Come back right back to Fort Defiance. Go up to the top floor of Fort Defiance. Uh, the one laser grid will be open in the one room. You'll, you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. You go inside, and then boom, you get the, uh, it puts the power armor chassis right inside your um, inventory, and boom, you can drop it just like this. And that's it. And it's going to be uh, called the Ultrasight Armor. And it looks just like this, which you guys have already seen. That's it. Simple as that. Hmm, I can't pick it up. Anyway, this is... Um Anyway, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, hope, hopefully, I was able to help a little bit. I know I didn't show too much, like in the very couple areas, but like I said, it's just it's hard to get around, being over encumbered, and having a little bit of caps, and just you know, the, the mission is also pretty self-explanatory. But hopefully, this gives you guys a bit more insight on what you need to do. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to say in the comment section below. Tell me how you got along, and I'll see you guys in the next one.